For the audience, the beginning of the show is familiar territory. We sound like a drum corps, and it kind of turns into chaos. What we call part one is like four and a half minutes of the show. It's the, the Boston tune, it's the, the Steve Reich, the fourth movement of the four sections, and then a piece by Michael Lorello called Rose. The idea was basically really to go from that very consonant, you know, the first thing is a B flat chord, it's very orderly, and then to end someplace that's as staticky and non-pitched. It's an energy and it's a sizzle, it's a, you know, what we're left with, with the white noise and the flags and the flag event at the end. It was our chance to use the obvious musical devices. The end of the show was very dissonant, which uh, uh, suggests chaos. The Boston is, you know, 4-4 four, four rock and roll. You know, you can dance to it. During the, uh, the percussion here, we were kind of doing like a walking up it kind of thing. You'll certainly hear things kind of split a little bit, like into twos and counterpoint within the battery, within the, the front ensemble writing. Yeah, a little more harmonic complexity to it than I think the original Boston has. As we get into the Reich, we can hear a lot of seconds, like a little crunchier kind of intervallic yeah. ships. That slowly, the harmony keeps getting denser and more extensions, so more notes in the chord, which creates dissonance. By the time we get to the rows, there's a lot of mixed meter stuff, so there's stretched beats, and it's actually a cluster of five or six notes over top of a descending bass line that augments and gets stretched, but it just keeps going down. So that's just a fragment that we pulled from the Boston, and now we're showing the distorted, chaotic version of that. A big part of that, too, is what Matt has done with the sound design, how that yeah. colors the sound of the ensemble. We introduce more over time, more kind of staticky and, and kind of like rubs of sound like that that create like noise in the sound. Hopefully it becomes somewhat overwhelming by the end of the chart and kind of leave us with the, the flag of it at the end. That last moment is rather like the uh, I Want You, She's So Heavy, the Beatles tune, where it just keeps getting noisier and noisier and then the noise finally takes over yeah. and then it slices off into the next piece. <laughs> 